how is it going guys? Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do an odd film uh, effect on any clip or any image that you want. This right here is just a standard Minecraft clip of me building in my house. But let's say I want to add an odd film effect. So basically you're going to want to come down to the bottom left corner of your DaVinci. Select the open effects tab. And you can look up odd film or just film, I guess. And I have a uh, sapphire stylized. I have a bunch of sapphire stuff installed. That is quite expensive, I understand. It's about 500 USD. Um, so if you're not comfortable paying that much money or pirating it or whatever you gotta do to, <laughs> to you know, get that. There's a few effects that are straight up in DaVinci. One of them, you have to have DaVinci Resolve Studio. Um, I don't have that, to be honest with you. I just don't have it. Um, but yeah, there is a film damage thing that you can do. There's an effect that, you know, there's a film blur, a temp shift, a tint shift. There's vignettes, there's dirt, there's scratch, like all kinds of things that you could want. Um, but this isn't exactly what I what comes to my mind when I think of old film. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess technically it is. But uh, there's the S underscore film damage, which kind of, it's hard to see. Or I guess it's not hard to see now. But it has the little, like, black grains and everything. The little white scratches. Um, and, like, all the little, you know, the things you would expect from an old film. Like a very stereotypical old film uh, type thing. That's what I use. There's also the S uh, film effect which I don't recommend you stack multiple of these at once. This one isn't as good, in my opinion. There's a lot there's a, there's a lot of nuance to each one of them, obviously. There's also a film roar, which is a transition. Film, you know, dissolves. All kinds of things. If you want each effect specifically by themselves, there's those. Um, but also, I made a separate video on how to change saturation. But in case you didn't check it out, or you don't give enough of a fuck to check it out, but you want to know, you can go to the um, color tab and simply change the saturation from 50, which is the default. By the way, 50 saturation is the default. Um, 100 is the max, and 0 is black and white. Don't do 0 straight up. Do like 20. So you still have a hint of color, but you also get the black and white effect. Um, that looks really good in my opinion for an old film type you know, bits that you may be doing for whatever video you're doing. That's how you do it. There's other plugins you can be using and other effects you can be using that isn't exactly the one that I'm using, but this is the one that works best for me. You could even probably, if you don't want to use any of these effects, you could even just straight up go onto YouTube, look up green screen or the film effect, download any green screen or the film effect that looks good to you, and I made a video on how to remove the green background of a green screen. So you just put the clip over top of your video and just, you know, watch my tutorial on how to remove the green screen. And that could be absolutely perfect for you. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys do drop a like and a sub if this helps you out in any way, shape, or form. I do a fuck ton of editing tutorials. So if you want anything else in specific, me to do a video on that you think you would want help with or that other people might want help with, I mean, let me know in the comments, because I'm fresh out of ideas as of yet. But yeah, drop a like, drop a sub. See you awesome like always. Peace out.